You believe it is Wednesday morning already? It is Wednesday morning, and I am still Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on uh, what I hope is going to be a fantastic Wednesday. We've got our men's Bible study at 10 o'clock, uh, supper at 445, prayer meeting Bible study, handbells, youth, children, 545, and choir practice is canceled for tonight. So choir, just come to Bible studies. All right. We're in Romans chapter 14, and I hope you're doing well today. If, uh, if not, then take, me, take a word of advice. Just grab your Bible, cup of coffee, go sit on your front porch in this cool, cool breeze, and just enjoy some time with the Lord. It'll change your day. It may even change your life. We're in Romans 14. We've been talking about this uh, issue of uh, Christians having a responsibility for one another not condemning one another, not judging one another. Now, keep in mind, there are some things that, that we have to be aware of. And if somebody is, is, is falling into sin or walking through uh, sinful attitudes and actions, we have a responsibility to, to help them. But those things that, that we just hold to as, as uh, you know, that are, we say they're from the Bible, but they're not like, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, cleanliness next to godliness, that's not scripture, right? And there's so many other things like thou shalt not drink alcohol. That's that's not scripture. Uh, but we get this in our hearts and mind that, that these things that we've been taught, that we believe are gospel truths. And so we try to enforce them. But here's the deal. You're not the enforcer. You're not the Holy Spirit. There are some things that are absolutely that, that we have to stand firm on. There are other things that we need to give grace about. And that's what Paul's talking about here. He says, whether you eat meat sacrificed to idols or not, don't worry about it. If you worship on the, 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 the on Saturday instead of Sunday, don't worry about it. As long as you're doing it as unto the Lord, for the Lord's glory, then, then just let them do it. Okay? That's what he says. Um, if you eat, give thanks. If you don't eat, give thanks. Whatever. Just give thanks to the Lord. Then pick up in verse 7. He says, for none of us lives to himself, and no one dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Now, I want you to think about this for just a minute. None of us lives to himself. No one dies to himself. We are God's people. We belong to him. And so we're to do what he has called us to do. We're to love as he loves, unconditionally, right? And we're to take care of our brothers and sisters in Christ. And remember this, that uh, it is our responsibility not to offend one of the least of these, my little ones, Jesus said. All right, so we live a life of grace and mercy. Just like God has given us grace and mercy, we give others grace and mercy. We love them. We take care of them. Now, again, I'm not saying that we don't uh, help a brother or sister who stumbled into sin. We must do that. Paul says, restore them gently. But we need to remember, our life belongs to him. We live for him. We die for him. That's the key to all of this. And then the, he wraps this up in verse 9. He says, for to this end, Christ died and rose and lived again, that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. Do you see it? He lived perfectly sinless life, died on the cross to pay the price for your sins and mine, rose again to show that he is the Lord of life, the Lord of all, right? He is the Lord. You're not. I'm not. That's why he says in verse 10, but why do you judge your brother? Or why do you show contempt for your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. He's talking to Christians here. And I think it's important for us to understand that when we talk about the judgment seat of Christ, we're typically talking about rewards, right? We say, well, you know, that's when I'm going to get my crowns and, and then I'm going to take my crowns and, and I'm going to place them at the, the Lord's feet. Well, I got to tell you, in this context, what Paul is saying here is we're going to answer for the way that we took care of our brothers and sisters. How did we treat them? Did we treat them with contempt? Did we judge them? Did we criticize them? Did we ridicule them? Did we offend them in any way? We're going to stand before God. 
And understand, while our sins are forgiven and wiped away, God is very serious about this because it is by our love for one another that the world will know that we are the sons and daughters of God and they will be drawn to him. So how are you living your life today? Is it a life of grace and mercy to those around you? Or are you being arrogant and proud, demanding and critical? Think about that today. There's a price to be paid. Be blessed. I'll see you back here tomorrow.